He's an investment manager. He's supported by several Kentucky and National Tea Party groups. Um, but essentially, I'm going to let Matt Bevin promote himself in the Senate race because he's the main contender in the Republican primary. The other three candidates I'd like to highlight. I won't be able to get through all of them, but... So Brad Copas. Brad Copas comes out of Lexington, Kentucky. And Brad Copas is a former National Guardsman. He fought into two, in two different wars. He's so pro-gun, he's, um, he's in favor of Kentucky citizens actually being able to have drones and tanks and probably nukes too. The argument for the Second Amendment is to stop an oppressive government. And he said before, during the Revolution, the government had you know like their own little guns and then the people had their own little guns and so it was actually kind of equal. Um, but now, since the U.S. government has all the weapons and all you have is these little pea shooters out here it's not even you know it's not even the same so he's um, very much pro-gun loves guns Brad Copas of Lexington is uh, he was raised in rural Monroe County he's a 23 year military veteran been in the military for 23 years he's worked in two US embassies as well as the Pentagon so he's been in the Pentagon been in all over the world he hates Nixon's EPA and the IRS so he's an anti-government right anti-EPA anti-IRS so actually he sounded more Tea Party Republican sounded sort of Matt Bevin-ish or Rand Paul before he started sucking Mitch McConnell's dick. The, he's for more tourism for national forests and parks, so which is good. That's a smart idea. We do need more tourism. It's Kentucky, beautiful state. Let's get people to see. Um, Vermont has like a very great tourist program where people can walk and actually enjoy what's going on. Um... Uh, Matt Copas, or Brad Copas, my bad. Brad Copas is also, he's against, uh, he wants to eliminate all pensions for all senators and for all congressmen. So, no pensions for anybody else. You, you, get, your, you get into the Senate, you do your job, and you get the fuck out. That's what happens. That's that's you know that's uh, uh, Brad Copas's way. So he's um, more tourism for national forests and parks. Um, eliminate pensions for all senators and congressmen, and he wants to recruit high tech industry to provide training in high paying careers in rural Kentucky and McCurry County because that's where he um, was doing this survey. He also likes to say y'all, right? And he wants to pretend like he's Kentucky vernacular. You know y'all. Y'all rednecks, y'all hillbillies better vote for good old Brad Copas. So that's a little bit about Brad Copas. Former National Guardsman, fought in two different wars, 23-year-old military veteran, very pro-gun, hates the EPA, um, in the war on coal, supposedly, and the IRS hates the tax uh, revenue collection service, wants more tourism, wants to eliminate all the pensions for all senators and congressmen, recruit high-tech uh, industry to provide training in high paying careers for the poor people of Kentucky and he likes to say y'all now my favorite okay and I'm not gonna have time it looks like to be able to actually get through all of this is Chris Payne and that's Chris with a Z C H R I Z Payne P A Y N E now Chris Payne is a badass okay at first you know he's got a picture of Ronald Reagan on his profile pictures so I was like oh okay so he's Ronald Reagan had the Iran Contra. He invaded Nicaragua, Nicaragua, got Guatemala, El Salvador. He overthrew revolutionary movements there, killed Oscar Romero, um, and and then they descended into a civil war in all those countries for about you know for about decades afterwards. So there was turmoil after that. After uh, Ronald Reagan felt like he could invade Latin America whenever the fuck he felt like it. So Chris Payne, okay, Chris Payne. Uh, he's pro um, legalization of all drugs. He hates the war of drugs. He's in favor of legalizing marijuana since it cures cancer. Uh, Kentucky's number one at cancer, so yes, we need a cure for the cancer. He compared chemotherapy, like which would you rather have your child going through chemotherapy or using hemp oil? Would you rather them, you know, having lose all their hair and, and go through all that shit, or would you rather do something more natural? Uh, and he also believes that McDonald's is more dangerous than marijuana, which is true. And uh, Kentucky's number one cash crop is marijuana. We legalized hemp, but we haven't gone Washington or we haven't gone Colorado yet, like the Louisville's police chief, uh, Robert White. So there's some contradiction that since he's saying that welfare users should be drug tested, but then he's pro-legalization of all drugs. So why are you testing welfare people for, so there's some contradictions, I think you might have to tease out the contradictions to find out who this guy actually is, um, but it'd be well worth it.
Okay, so I'm going to go through a whole bunch of these memes, a lot of these pictures that uh, had been captured from uh, Chris Payne's Facebook page. And this is Jake Payne saying, oh, look at this guy, he's making a mockery of the whole thing. Jake Payne is so out of touch, that fucking piece of shit, he's a gatekeeper, he attacks liberals, he attacked Gatewood Gabbroth um, when Gatewood Gabbroth was pro uh, gay marriage, right? So actually, Gatewood Gabbroth would probably align with Jake Payne's views, but Jake Payne is a fucking elitist prick and doesn't really give a shit about, you know, helping the community out, just wants to get the sensational bullshit and, and then act like he's a fucking badass, uh, which he's not. Um, but uh, so I, all these pictures describe who Chris Payne is. He's running for the uh, candidacy of uh, U.S. Senate. He's trying to take Mitch McConnell's position. So he's a party promoter. So he's like, uh, you know, he has all these party pictures. He's uh, against Monsanto. Mo mo most of the European countries are against Monsanto. He's showing right here how the when you're spraying the chemicals on the fields, you have to wear these suits that protect you from getting it on your skin since, you know, chemicals are dangerous, but it's being sprayed on our food. So how can that be good for us if the chemicals are being sprayed on our food? We ingest it, we eat it, and yet they have to cover their whole bodies. Here he's talking about fighting cancer with chemotherapy. Um, which one is better, fighting it with marijuana or fighting it with chemotherapy? The children have to lose all their hair, go through all this horrible, you know, uh, treatments, whereas cannabis oil does it more naturally. And so which one would you rather them, uh, which treatment would you rather them go through? Now this one is about him and being in favor of gay marriage. It's saying here, you know, the guy's looking to God and he's like, so it's all about the gays in it. That's why you're pissed off. And he's like, yep, that's why I'm pissed off. And he's like, I knew it. And he was like, no, it's not because they're bad, but it's because of the way you guys are treating them. So that's amazing. You know, you just had that federal judge that actually just came down recently and he had said that, uh, uh, he had said that the, um, uh, 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 that gay marriage is now legal. You can't, you know, you basically struck down the Kentucky 2004 amendment. Now, both Allison Lundergan Grimes and Greg uh, Lecce, they had both said that, well, it's good, but, you know, we need to do something legislative. Uh, Lee, but that's why wouldn't you just say you anybody can be gay if you want to be gay you can be gay You know like this is why the liberals lose this is why Democrats lose because they don't stand up and take their licks Chris Payne is a real motherfucker. He is saying so many awesome things This is why people are gonna vote, you know, he's running in the Republican Party, which makes me doubt I don't know why he's doing that um, you know, what that's all about, but he's saying so many truths, there's so many issues that's going on right now in America, and a lot of these candidates tend to miss what's going on. So, he's pro-gay marriage, you know, he's libertarian, so you can do whatever you want to your own body and the privacy of your own homes. Now, this seems like it might be a little bit racist, he's like, um, Mexicans be like, you know, they don't want to legalize marijuana, they want to legalize their mother, because, you know, we're a nation of immigrants, so come on, come all. I don't know what Chris Payne's view on this, he didn't write a caption or anything about it, so that almost, he could be making fun of Mexicans, or he could be for Mexicans, I'm not for sure. Here's uh, Payne 2014, he's for drug testing for welfare. Now that's insane because he's, you know, pro, pro legalization of marijuana. I think he's pro legalization of all drugs and yet here he's saying that he's for drug testing for welfare. So what's, what's the, you know, what, what gives here? What's going on? Are you for the legalization or not? Now he's a, he believes that 9-11 is an inside job. I don't know either one way or the other. I think we should have had another 9-11 Truth Commission. Um, but here he has all the leaders of the country laughing, saying, Oh, you think jet fuel burned down the building? Ah, ha, ha, that's big. That's a good laugh. It was more internal explosions, right? And, um, and here's just a funny little thing with the Sandy Storm. He's like, you can't mail a car because, you know, the car sitting on the mailbox there. He's like, oh, you so you think 9-11 truth is just a conspiracy theory, right? Well, I guess in your world, buildings are just, they just fucking disappear and passports are fireproof. Well, that's saying that uh, the building, the third building, it just fell down on its own, right? How did it fall down? And then they found the passport on the ground. So how did the passport survive the plane crash and they found it on the ground? Where did that come from? Uh, here he's still railing on 9-11 where he's saying that the, a dragon blowing fire on the buildings would be a more likely story than the official ev uh, version of events. My thing is that the effects of 9-11 is it made us an imperialist country where we're invading and bombing all these other countries. So, you know, the effects of it, they use that event to destroy the whole world. 
He's pro Rand Paul to protest the drones and the out-of-control government, um, but I don't think Rand Paul right now, when he's sucking Mitch McConnell's dick, will actually say anything um, in favor of Chris Payne, even though Chris Payne is a Rand Paulist, right? He's talking bad about Matt Bevin, and, um, you know, uh, Rand Paul is. Maybe he's just holding his nose until the end of the campaign, but, but seriously... Here you have a little bit of Dr. Strangelove. There's that guy that goes uh, ape shit and just starts bombing everybody because he was like, the fluoride's in the water, the fluoride's in the water. But there is a lot of data that suggests that it is poisonous. You know, they're putting it in the water, and I don't know if it's saying that it's for mind control, um, especially like clean. I don't know what, what the, I, I guess I have to look more into that. He's uh, talking about the chemtrails. So there's the idea that the government is sitting there spraying all these clouds, all these toxic chemicals on the entire population and they're doing it for, you know, I guess some sort of mind control. And there are a lot of weird-ass chemtrails. Why are these chemical trails all the, up in the air? So he's bringing open a lot of new ideas and a lot of new issues that's going on in America. Here he's playing with his toy. He's, got, he's pro-gun, right? Which, that's, he's an American. Basically, liberals and conservatives are pro-gun. Here's a picture coming up. <laughs> Here he's kind of, he's not, uh, I don't think, he, he had one with uh, Zimmerman. He said that uh, George Zimmerman's jury was full of Paula Deen's people. He had a meme, a picture saying that. Um, but here he's talking about how the NSA, he's attacking the NSA. So the NSA could spy on all of our phones and emails and our conversations. But, you know, Paula Deen says the N-word and then everybody loses their minds. So sort of a question of priorities. Uh, he loves his gun, right? I love my gun. I love my gun. Um, the NSA is a huge deal. We're not a free country. Whistleblowers are being uh, targeted, and maybe the bankers that are getting killed off or committing suicide probably had knowledge about it. But since there's no whistle protection laws, they might get you know thrown in jail or they've been getting killed. Again, 9/11. You know, it's still more believable than the official story with Star Wars. Now, this is interesting. He's talking about the more vaccinations that America has had, the raise in autism rate. So, in '83, there's only 10 vaccine vaccines given, and 36 vaccines in 2008, then 46 vaccines. And he's showing a correlation between the rise of vaccines and the rise of autism. So, are the vaccines causing autism? I don't know. I think it's misdiagnosis in the schools. It's a public education system. Um, the public education system is making our kids pussies because it's saying, shut up, sit down, do as you're told. You have no soul. You're just a, a sheep. Go along with what the, the, the totalitarian dictator uh, tells you what to do. So he's got a b butterfly on his head and he's crying. He's like, oh my God, it's a butterfly. Here he's got, um, he's being an entrepreneur, and he's saying, you know, there are jobs out there. It's probably just a funny picture, and it's sort of interesting. I mean, that's, uh, it's interesting how this, this lady makes money. She clears $1,250 a day just to have men, you know, suck on her fake boobs that have a ton of margarita um, mix and alcohol in it. Here's Chris Payne just being a badass, just chilling. He's a party promoter, so that's sort of... You know, he could just be running this to get more attention. Um, regardless, he's putting all these issues. I hope he goes to the debate. I don't know why he wasn't at Fancy Farm. He's an unknown, but man, he's a badass, okay? He's way better than Matt Bevin. The Tea Party should be backing Chris Payne 100% because he's right on all the issues. Here he's comparing medieval feudism, feudalism with corporal corporate feudalism and he's 100% right about this so it, it's still the rich versus the poor the, nothing has changed okay just the actors and the people and the names but the, the, the it's, it's the same thing so you got you know you got all these bankers that's controlling everybody you got the corporate elite the politicians bureaucrats and the religion and then everybody else and he's sitting there saying, saying that you know back in the day there was kings too there's kings there's a landed dentry class that's still today there's clergy still today royal ministers merchants vassals and then everybody else so he's kind of making a um, a correlation between back in the evil days of feudalism when everybody was being put on farms and being forced to work for the king till today and s sort of making a, a comparison um, between the two societies here he is just you know kind of chilling right I'm Chris Payne I'm a badass look at me 
Um, he brings up a ton of good issues. The NSA thing is a great issue. The Patriot Act came out of 9-11. The Iraq War came out of 9-11. So bringing 9-11 up, up as an issue, saying it's an inside job, has a lot of implications for what's going on um, with the entire world. If it was an inside job, then that means George Bush and company, Dick Cheney and the rest, need to be prosecuted. Uh, they need to be put in prison. Uh, here, the Guy Fawkes mask kind of twists me. He's a Republican. Why are you running as a Republican? But Guy Fawkes is about revolution. So he's a revolutionary. He's an internet guy. He's got a picture, you know, of uh, of his wife here. She's, you know, I see her uh, titties everywhere. They're gorgeous, good picture. So, you know, he's well loved. Um, seems very happy guy. Don't worry, we're here from the internet. A lot of people that's on the internet, the uh, younger generation, they're more evolved, more technologically astute, and they know what's going on.